Okay, everyone. So welcome back. This is Luke James Schaefer uh, with some looping information. I get asked a ton what equipment that I use. Um, so today I'm going to show you what I use. It's not crazy complicated, but I'm going to give you the names and uh, maybe grab one for yourself and use it at home. Here we go. All right, so obviously, if you've watched any of my YouTube videos, I use the Boss RC300 Loop Station. It's got three tracks that essentially can sync up or not, depending on how you have the settings. Um, so it's essentially three loopers in one. It has a ton of different effects. It's amazing. I love it. One thing I would recommend 100%, I would almost say this is essential um, if you do live looping, is a mic mute switch. Um, if you're not looping your vocals, if you're not using a mic, then you won't need it. But it's called the Whirlwind Mic Mute PP Pedal Switch. Um, it's totally worth it, it's amazing. Um, if you don't know why this is necessary, it's essentially because the mic, if it's not muted, will pick up uh, a new round of uh, audio every time you go around, like just like room noise, just will be like shh, or if you're in a bar, it'll be loud people talking, and you don't want that. Next, uh, the microphones I use. I use two different mics. I use one when I'm recording at home for like YouTube videos, and then I use one, this is my mic, and then I use another one for live shows. I use the Rode NT1A Vocal Cardio Condenser Microphone. I love it, it's great for vocals, great for acoustic guitar. Uh, and then when I'm playing live, I use the Sennheiser E835. This thing is uh, very versatile, it's, it's nice and crisp, I think it sounds great, it's really good for looping, it's good for beatboxing. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend that. If you don't get that, just go for like the Shure SM58, they're always um, solid choice. If you're recording at home or doing loops at home, I 100% recommend getting some headphones. These guys are uh, like $20, Tascam. I got them on Amazon, they're super cheap and they sound fine. Next thing that's kind of important if you wanna record what you're doing, uh, especially for like YouTube, is an audio interface. I use the Focusrite Scarlett Solo USB audio interface. I think it's great, it sounds good. It's got two channels, one for the uh, instrument, a, a quarter inch, and then one for a mic. You can also, if you, can figure it out, go to Boss's website and they have an RC300 driver that you can download to your computer. So essentially you're turning the uh, RC300 into an audio interface, which is what I use sometimes. That just requires a USB cable that pops into the back of the RC300, which is awesome. Some little things that I use, I use a little egg shaker. <laughs> I use a tambourine every now and again. It's good if you have a home studio to have a little mascot. This is my owl. Lastly here, the M Audio Oxygen 25 uh, key USB MIDI drum pad and keyboard controller. If you wanna use this live, you're gonna to have to get something called a MIDI engine. Um, I use the Amun MIDI Plus Mini Engine. It's okay, it sometimes loses battery kind of fast, and so there's good things about it and there's bad things about it, but it's the only one that I found that works. And there's links uh, below if you want to look at them. So yeah, that's it. I, I don't have a ton of equipment. I, I record directly into Logic, and then I do a little bit of EQ messing around just to make sure everything's clear, but it's all through one channel. Hope you guys like this video. Um, if you have any suggestions on kind of how-to videos, please let me know because I have no idea what I'm doing, and I hope to see you soon. Okay, bye.